Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own natural watercolor bristle brush, just like the one you see right here. It's really simple. First, we're going to go to Window and we're going to open our Brushes panel, or you can click right here. And to make a bristle brush, really simple, have nothing selected and just click the New Brush button, then go to Bristle Brush right here. This window will pop up, it will ask for a name, a shape, and a bunch of different options that you can change. When you've chosen all your options, all you press is OK and you've created your brush. Now I'm going to show you what happens if we modify each one of these options individually. So I have a brush that I already made right here, I'm just going to double click on it. And the first option that you're going to get is of course the name of your brush, and that will appear in your brushes panel right here. Then you can change the shape of your brush, and you can go from rounded, to curves, to angles, to fans, and you see it slightly changes the shape of your brush. Now for this, we're just going to stick to a flat blunt. And then your first option is to change the size. Obviously a small size is going to be a small brush, a big one is going to be quite large. We'll choose something around in the middle. Then you can choose your bristle length. And if you change this to long lengths, you end up with a stroke that's quite, uh, quite wide. And if it's short, it's going to be a thinner stroke like that. Again, we'll choose something in the middle. Then you can choose your bristle density. And this is how many bristles you have at the end of your paintbrush. So if you have low, that means you're only going to have one or two low bristles. And if it's high, it's going to be more blurry because you have so many bristles at the end. So we're going to choose it somewhere in the middle like that. Then you can choose your bristle thickness. And to show you how this affects it, if we choose just one bristle right here, a thick bristle is going to be thicker, obviously, and if it's finer, it's going to be thinner like that. So we choose something in the middle. It's just going to slightly modify the width, but not by much. Then you can choose whether you want your brush to be translucent or opaque. So if it's very translucent, you'll hardly see it. It'll be very light and opaque. You can make it just into a uh, full stroke like that. So you want something somewhere in the middle, maybe a bit more towards opaque. And your last option is to modify the stiffness. And I'll show you again by just doing this as one bristle like this. If it's very flexible, it's not going to follow your, pla your path as much. It's going to kind of meander and wave off it. If it's very rigid, it's going to follow your path pretty um, with high fidelity. Now one problem that you might have, if I turn these back to a bit high like this, if it's very flexible, sometimes, let's see if I can get it, yeah, you get these kind of um, overlaying shapes right here. Um, to get rid of these, these kind of problems, these artifacts, just keep your flexibility a bit higher and it'll get rid of them just naturally like that. So once you've selected your options, it's really simple, just press OK. Here it asked me to apply to the strokes that I have right there, so I'm going to apply it. And there you go. Then to apply your stroke to something, all you do, your brush to something, all you do is use a pen tool or a line tool. You click, you make whatever shape you'd like, like that. Then with your shape selected, you just click on the bristle brush that you created, like that, and it applies the brush to the stroke. Now there's two more options. You can modify the stroke uh, width, and this will affect the brush as well. So that's quite messy and not nice. And of course, you can change the color of the stroke by clicking here and let's make it into a, a blue or something like that. And there you go. And that's all it is to take you, to make your own watercolor bristle brush. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any comments, please write them down too. Uh, check out our other videos. Hit the like button. If you really like our video, subscribe. And of course, as always, have a great day.